Hey folks, and welcome to Repair Masterclass. Today in the shop, what we're gonna talk about is fingerboard tapes. What's good about them, what's bad, and how to remove them and replace them, because this time of year, especially when we're getting done with the full school year's worth of, of playing on the instruments, they may not be quite as fresh and we need to put new ones on, or your student has progressed past the point of needing them. So let's talk about what they are. So fingerboard tapes cause more string buzzing than anything else. So when we've got this instrument fully strung up, and this string is actually vibrating around. Most of the buzzes that we see actually come from the tape. The tape is high enough off of the fingerboard that the string when it's moving is actually smacking the fingerboard or smacking the tape um, and causing the buzz. So oftentimes if we use a thinner tape or just get rid of the tape entirely, the buzz goes away. Now, it may be that the fingerboard needs to be recambered and things like that or the bridge isn't high enough, but for the most part, the buzzing sound comes from the string hitting the tape. So let's look at how we get tapes off because as you can see on this one, these guys are just kind of old and worn out and we want to get rid of them. So the first thing we do is we drop the bridge, drop the tailpiece, get rid of all that and just slide our strings out of the way. Um, and then what we're going to do is peel these guys off as best as possible if you can find an end on them. And if you're at all like me, you get these guys off here as best as possible. See, look at this, the guy's just falling apart off. If you're like me though, you're impatient and don't want to just peel these things off. So I don't. I grab just a cheap little six inch ruler and I'm just going to plow through these guys and slide these off this way. Now that I got that off, now I may be able to come in here These are on there so well, I'm just going to keep going with this guy and get myself something to hold on to and peel off there. Because I don't know about you, but I don't really have a lot of spare time to sit and play with these guys very much, so I just want to get it done fast. Now right away, some people may be saying, see, look, you're scratching the wood. Eh, well, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the, fing the grime from the fingers off of this more than I am doing anything else. Because I'm not pushing into this, I'm just letting the metal scrape across this, really scrape across the wood. And we're going to clean this neck up anyway as part of this process. All right, so I've got a lot of this stuff off, but I still have all this sticky, gooey stuff on here. Now you could go out and buy yourself a thing of Goo Gone, or in your music room you probably got some really cheap valve oil. So take, take some cheap valve oil, put that on there, grab yourself just a chunk of paper towel, and go rubbing that in. That valve oil is going to lift all that gooey stickiness of the sticker right off there and make them go completely gone. I'm going to do the same thing all the way back here get the neck clean off. Even where we've got all this finger grime built up, all we have to do is put a drop of valve oil on that. And that stuff disappears. And this stuff, guys, a bottle of piston valve oil, if you buy the cheap stuff, is a lot less expensive than Goo Gone. All right, the other thing we can see on here, so you saw me scratch on this and maybe causing some what people would say it's discoloration it's not just getting rid of the grime but you can also see on this fingerboard where someone has scraped on this one before probably trying to plane it but did a really bad job of it we're going to clean both of those things up today what we're going to do is i'm going to take a, just a small strip of 600 grit so this is p600 600 grit sandpaper nothing too serious i'm just going to close it up with my finger so i make sure it never touches the body and I'm just going to clean that up. What I'm doing is I'm taking that person's um, scrape marks. And we're just finishing them. We're just cleaning those up a little bit and, and smoothing them out. And I'm going to go ahead and do the whole fingerboard on this one. This also is a great way to get rid of rosin. So if you have a lot of rosin built up, just take some 600 grit sandpaper to start with. 
and plow through that stuff, it'll come right off. That's what I want to see, a nice smooth even surface. Once I have a smooth even surface, then I'm going to take some 1500, so this one, I, I cut through mine, just make them smaller, so I end up always writing on them of what it is, so I know. I'm going to take some 1500 then, and really polish this up. And you'll find that you get some buildup on the paper. So every now and then you have to move the paper around. So it keeps cutting, keeps doing what we want it to do instead of just rubbing it. And there we have a really shiny, clean board. Now on the back of the neck, we could use a 1500. I don't prefer it. I prefer using just a bit of double O steel wool. So steel wool comes in grits as well. Just a really small, so the uh, double O, so zero, 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 zero uh, sandpaper, or I'm sorry, steel wool works great. And you can see how this is actually taking off all of the finger grime in there as well. But this is so soft that it's not going to do any damage to the varnish, as long as I'm not sitting there rubbing on it for a while. And there, we've got a really clean fingerboard. We've got a really clean and polished fingerboard. We've got a really clean back of the neck. So now this is really easy to slide and move on. And this instrument is ready to be set back up. You guys, that's all there is to it. If we want to get those fingerboard tapes off, just grab something to plow through them and then use some, you know, trumpet valve oil of any sort and just a couple drops of that will take the gooeyness right off of that thing and you'll never see those. You can not see, you know how normally you see the, the stripes uh, of the fingerboard tape on there? Well, there it is. There's not a single stripe on that. I guess if we get the light on it just right, maybe right in, I can see on the monitor right in there, maybe we can see a little bit of a stripe right there. But for the most part, those things are gone. And that's what we want. Now, at this point, you could always go back in and reapply. There's no oil or anything like that left on here after we've taken the sandpaper to it. So you're not gonna lose the, the grip of the sticky. Um, so you could go back in and apply new fingerboard tapes if you wanted to. Uh, so that's all there is to it to get the fingerboard tape right off your instrument. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at steve at repairmasterclass.com. If you want, join me every Tuesday for a live session where we jump on Zoom and you can ask me any question you want. If you want to find the link on that, scroll on down on the homepage of repairmasterclass.com and find the link for that. I hope to see you next week. Cheers.